In this example, we're just going to look at writing down the material balances. These are kind of things then we could put into a program that solves the, uh, as it turns out, differential equations because we're looking at an isothermal batch reactor, so things are changing time. Three reactions, and we're given rates of reaction for each of these reactions. So keep in mind these rates of reactions are mole per volume, let's say liters per time, say seconds. And so what we want to do is write down the mass balances, this isothermal system, so we only have to with the mass balances, the change in the total number of moles in our batch reactor with time. Well, A is going to change because this first reaction will use up A. We put a minus sign because we're reacting away A in the first reaction. Concentration of A, concentration, and then the volumes. This is moles per liter per second. The rate constant has to be of the correct units per second on a reaction. But the left side is moles per second. We have volume here. And then we also use A in this third reaction. And A has a stoichiometric coefficient 2. So with the convention we're using, 2 has to be in front of the rate constant and the rate reaction again times volume. And the easiest way to solve these problems is to write down the mass balance for the other species and solve all the equations simultaneously. So for B, we have reaction just in the first K1, CA, CB times volume. For C, the total number of moles of C, well, now we have two reactions. C is formed in the first reaction, so it's a plus sign. K1, CA, CB times volume, and then C reacts in the second reaction, K2, concentration of C times volume. And then we have the change in number of moles affect the time, and D is only involved. Third reaction, a plus sign, a constant 3, CA squared times the volume, and then the change in number of moles of E respect to time. E is formed, the second reaction, and it has a stoichiometric coefficient, notice here, of 2, concentration of C times the volume. So the only thing left to solve these equations, we would need initial conditions. Namely, at t equals zero, we need to know the number of moles of A, B, C, D, and E. And once we have those initial number of moles at time zero, we can substitute these equations into a differential equation solver, rate constants that are, are determined how the concentrations and number of moles change as a function of time.